let's take a quick look at an organization setup quiz. All right. So once enabled, which of the following features cannot be disabled? So let's take a look at our options. We have chatter, advanced currency management, custom fiscal year, collapsible sidebar, and lightning experience. So let's think about this for a moment. So chatter is a feature that we can use for communication amongst our colleagues, right? We have currency management, so that's the currency that an organization is using. Custom fiscal year, remember custom fiscal year is the framework that Salesforce uses to allow us to have end days and start days, collapsible sidebars and lightning experience, right? So collapsible sidebar seems something that we can easily disable. Lightning experience is also another easy one. So that leaves us with the first three. Let's think about this. What is absolutely imperative to any organization? Um, chatter, although is important, is not necessarily imperative. And there may be cases where you need to change currencies. So, for example, if an organization moves its headquarters, currencies can be changed, which leaves us with custom fiscal year. And why this is the case is because if you change the fiscal year, as I said earlier, you're changing the framework within which Salesforce uses to map all your information into, right? So the minute you change it from the standard fiscal year to the custom fiscal year, you can't disable that. You can't go back because Salesforce has made huge adjustments internally. All right, and I just want to show you what this looks like. In Salesforce when you actually do this so you could have the standard fiscal year or the custom fiscal year once you enable this custom fiscal year um, you won't be able to disable it all right so this is exactly the same thing um, once you have saved the from a custom fiscal year from a standard fiscal year right you can't go back okay this is a question that you may be asked. So let's look at this. The company information page can tell you which of the following. So now let's have a look. We have the organization set up. So we need to think about the organization edition, the number of Salesforce licenses, the Salesforce organization ID, the number of inactive users, and the number of system administrators. So let's take a look and think about this fully. Okay. So we're looking at the company information page, right? So we have to think about what are the most obvious things that jump out at us. The first thing that jumps out of us is the organization edition, right? That tells us that, yes, this is the license or the edition that Salesforce is using. It also makes sense that Salesforce will show you the number of Salesforce users or licenses in this case, pardon me. And finally, it will give you the Salesforce organization ID. Let's take a look at an actual company information page. Let's take a look at what this actually looks like, right? So we're here on the sidebar where we've clicked setup and gone to company profile, company information. We notice that we have the salesforce.com organization ID over here, all right? We have who created it, Hendrik. We have the fiscal year starts in January, all right? The time zone and the locale of the organization, all right? We also have the organization name. Notice here the way it says user licenses, all right? Um, really important, as we mentioned earlier, you can see the user licenses, you can see the organization ID, you can see when the fiscal year is, but notice that you can't see the number of inactive licenses, um, which was one of the questions that you saw. You could see the user licenses here, but you can't see the inactive use, user licenses, right? Okay, wonderful. All right, so let's go back to this. You can see the organization edition, the number of Salesforce licenses, the Salesforce organization ID. You can't necessarily see the number of administrators or inactive users. Okay, great. So which of the following actions cannot be completed on the company information page? 
So we have these options. Edit the city in which your organization is located. Modify the type of licenses your organization has. Edit the default locale for your organization. Restrict access to currency settings. Add or remove licenses. So let's take a look up here. What actions cannot be performed? Notice that we can we have the locale over here. Notice that we have the fiscal year, which we noted when we have it when once we change it to custom, we cannot change it back, right? Let's have a look. So let's go back to our question down here at the bottom. And let's think about this for a moment. We notice that we could edit the license. We could modify the license and we could restrict access. Pardon me. We could not modify the type of license that we have, and we could not restrict access to currency settings on this profile. All right? Let's look at that one more time. We could edit the, the locale, and we could edit a lot of these features right over here, but we could not modify the type of license and restrict access to currency settings. So let's think about this just simply. If you could just go to your company information and modify your license, that the organization has, um, that could really cause challenges to your organization, right? There's a process that one has to go through to, to attain a license, okay? So that's why the company information page cannot allow you to do that. The second thing is restricting access to currency settings. Those, that information is elsewhere. You cannot complete that on the company information page.